I'm in Point Comfort on the Gulf Coast in Texas, and there's something dangerous lurking in this water. Like see. Oh, wow. That's all plastic pellets in there. Plastic pellet, plastic pellet, plastic pellet. Microplastics have shown up in the blood, brains, and testicles of nearly every human tested. Microplastics. Microplastics. Microplastics are everywhere. They've been found in almost every organ in the body. We're eating and drinking more plastic than we might have realized. And you might be likely to blame your own personal behavior for this junk ending up in your body. Swap out that plastic cutting board. Plastic is being leached into my coffee. But it's not all from your cutting board or water bottle. Plants like this one are producing a form of microplastics that are relatively unknown and nearly completely unregulated. Formosa, a Taiwanese company, has had a presence in Texas since 1979. They fought hard to get quick approval for constructing their chemical plant near waterways. The state and federal regulatory agencies decided the impact of the plant and its expansion were minimal in comparison to what they saw as an economic boon for the area. But the only boon was a boon of plastic waste everywhere. It was in people's swimming pools, it was on their cars, covering their cars, so it, it was everywhere. Except it was total denial and the state wouldn't do anything. They would have maybe a 2,000 pound release. And it was like <laughs> All over the yard, it's all over the cement, it's in the ditches, it's overflowing. And they eventually reported two pounds two pounds to the EPA, and it was over 2,000. So what does this all mean for you? Well, it could be making all of us sick. Researchers at the University of Vienna have even linked microplastic ingestion to colorectal cancer. At the same time, we're seeing more and more of that cancer among surprisingly young people. The effects on the endocrine system, that's where hormones are produced, are widely documented. And microplastics are showing up in fetuses and placenta. We have no idea what this will do to our next generations. I, you know, it's kind of, it's real concerning to read all these papers that come out and hear that there are microplastics in our organs. Um, you know, what, what long-term impacts is that gonna have? You know, do we have a real answer for that yet? And it's important to remember it didn't have to be this way. This is all about profit. Keeping these particles out of our waterways would cost these companies more money. Pumping out more and more plastic products is profitable. But is any of that savings getting passed on to you or only the chemicals that are poisoning you? Unfortunately, I think we're probably gonna learn the hard way of you know, what the real impact is over time. For today, plastics are changing the appearance of our everyday world.